All right, hello, it's 10 o'clock. Welcome to the weather update on this rather warm night, a uh, rather warm day. It's going to go from warm to hot uh, as we head into tomorrow. You can see plenty of cirrus around today. Uh, and it was pretty warm today, and there was only a limited sea breeze on the south shore, which I got to experience for a little bit in Babylon. It was very limited, and then by the evening, the sea breeze was gone. Uh, and now we're dealing with some really warm temperatures again. You'll notice red flag warning in effect for Connecticut. I'm surprised that they haven't had this for the whole area because uh, you could see some pretty strong winds uh, from the west-southwest here, gusts up to 25. And if we look at the dew point, it's fairly low at 39. So I don't know why. Uh, this whole area should be under a red flag warning. But there's very um, high conditions for a brush fire uh, risk today across the area. Ice slip 59. Uh, looks like they still managed to have a sea breeze, maybe a little bit of one. Uh, we don't even have that here in Mineola. We're uh, still into the well, into the 60s here, it looks like. Um, you can see looking at the day at Islip, got into the 70s, low 70s. It was even warmer than that in Nassau County. We'll look at the, the observations. You can see uh, there was a sea breeze out there. So the Suffolk County seemed to have a sea breeze. Uh, but here in Nassau, we did not have that at all. Uh, and you can see 64 at Farmingdale. Uh, we have a west-southwest wind. No sea breeze here. For some reason, Suffolk County is getting the sea breeze, but not us. Uh, we've been in the 60s all evening. You can see west-southwest winds. And uh, it got a significant little uh, bit warmer at Farmingdale with low 70s there. Uh, it looks like it was showing a southwest wind for a time. Uh, but here in Mineola, it was pretty warm. It was definitely warmer than that. Um, and if we go look at how it was like in New Jersey, Lakehurst is still 65. They have a west-southwest wind, and they got well into the 70s today, and it'll be even warmer tomorrow. Uh, so warm, dry conditions, breezy. This all sets the stage for brush fire risk. Uh, let's look at today's highs for first, uh, and you'll see here. Um, yeah, see Suffolk County out east, especially only in the lo uh, only in the the mid low to mid 60s, which is still above normal. Um, uh, and uh, low 70s for uh, much of Long Island. North Shore got into the mid 70s. New York City also got into the mid 70s. And uh, as we head into New Jersey, uh, mid 70s there as well. Uh, and not much of a sea breeze uh, to be reported at all. Uh, look at our, looking at our lows for the day, uh, you can see it was pretty chilly in the morning, though. It got down to 28 in West Hampton, mid 30s uh, in, uh, in, in um, most of mid to upper 30s. And most of Long Island there, except in some areas were a little warmer where there wasn't radiational cooling. City only got down to 52, which shows you, again, how much warmer it is in the urban areas. And New Jersey probably also cooled off as well, uh, seeing lows, uh, if they'll have a display on the screen. Um, I'm assuming mid-30s, but we may not be able to get them on the screen, so we'll come back to that. Uh, but anyway, uh, you'll see here across the area, big ridge in control. There's a weak cold front way up there. We're not going to see any of that. We've got this big ridge in control, uh, keeping us pretty warm. And it's going to get from, like I said, it's going to go from warm to hot. And you can see, well, you have some lows on the screen. And you can see, yeah, it was warmer in Jersey last night, upper 30s. So we had better radiational cooling, I guess, on Long Island than in New Jersey. Uh, but let's go to the Wonder Map and uh, look at the Wonder Map as well to show you what it was like across Long Island, to pay to pay, to depending on where you were. Uh, so we'll first start off on the South Shore where there was a nice sea breeze. And it looks like there is, there's no sea breeze in the Nassau County South Shore. It's literally limited to Long Beach, the Barrier Islands, and the South Shore of Suffolk County. Once you go out to Suffolk, it seems like there's a sea breeze, uh, but not here. Uh, so uh, let's, we'll, we'll start off in Patchogue here. They have a sea breeze there in Patchogue, North Patchogue to be exact. Uh, but they're doing better than we are. They're at 59 degrees, and they got up to 70 and you could see that there was a sea breeze uh, there. Uh, and if you're right on the water, it was even cooler than that. Um, like I said, you want to be right on the water, like right here. Uh, and there it's 55, and they probably didn't even make it to 70 today. Uh, if you're right on the water, yeah, only 50. All oh, the high was, temperature's only in the 50s. So if you're right at the water, that's where you need to be. But right at the water, the sea breeze is very limited. Um, uh, we go further west to see the effects of the sea breeze aren't even as good. Uh, let's go look at Babylon here. We'll, we'll look at we'll, we'll do West Islip, where it seemed like they were getting a sea breeze when I was there. Uh, 58 degrees. Uh, they got up to 67, so a little bit, a little bit of a sea breeze there. But if you go more into the middle of the island areas, 
We'll go further north here and we'll look at, um, let's go to Ridge. We're at 61 still, so they're in the warm air as well. Um, you'll see 61, and they got up to 76. So, yeah, mid-70s if you're in the middle of the island, much warmer. Uh, let's work our way we uh, west here and take, take a look and see what we're dealing with in central Nassau. We'll go look at the uh, Mineola station here where it's still 64 degrees. I have the air conditioner on. All right, it's just so much warmer here. Um, and you'll see here 77 degrees, so actually almost upper 70s here. Very warm, very, very warm. Uh, so, And then if we go even further north, let's go to Port Washington. You know, we'll look at Flower Hill, for instance. They might have gotten close to 80. Uh, let's see what they got up to. Uh, let's see. So they got into the, uh, yeah, mid to upper 70s. Uh, so middle of the Isle, North Shore, the hottest. Uh, head out to Suffolk County, particularly the South Shore. But the sea breeze is very limited, and that's going to be the story the, ne the next couple of days. Look at the city still hovering in the upper 60s. Uh, their temperatures, or their lows tonight, are going to be above the normal high. That's how um, warm it's going to be. Let's see what's going on in New Jersey. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, that hot, hot area here. Let's go to the West West Toms River here. Holiday City West, where my my God, it got even hotter there. Let's see what we got there. 65, and let's see what we got up to today. Uh, 75, okay. So, yeah, pretty much it's, it's, it's just as hot as being in New Jersey here. It really is tonight. Uh, so, now that we got that out of the way, let's go to the models. And first of all, looking at the radar, there's not much going on. You see a little bit of light shower activity in upstate New York. We're not going to see any of that. Uh, the ridge is in place and will be uh, for a while. You can see that ridge. They're parked over the southeast, and it's going to stay there. Note the isobars in the direction they're coming from. That favors a west wind, uh, and that's going to keep us very warm and then not much of a sea breeze at all until we get to it Friday, and we might start seeing some more of a sea breeze. But that means we're going to have record heat, uh, and it's going to be quite warm for the rest of this week. So let's go look at the HRRR model and look at our dew points and wind flow. I mean, there's no sense I could run the precipitation for you to see. There's nothing going on with that. Uh, you'll notice the isobars being close together. That means well, the winds are going to be strong. I don't know why they haven't put a red flag warning. I think the entirety of New Jersey and most of Long Island should be on a red flag warning because you'll notice there's pretty brisk west wind tomorrow, and uh, you know the air is dry and it's warm. You see that west wind. The sea breeze literally is going to be very limited right to the south shore areas, and it's going to be the same thing again for your Thursday as well. And you'll notice, again, dew points fairly low here. Uh, with that west wind, uh, so uh, not going to be much moisture in the air. And again, the sea breeze are gonna be, uh, is going to be limited to just the immediate shore. So I'll take a look at what these temperatures are going to do. They get ready for the summer-like weather in April. We're going to see our records be shattered. Tonight, probably lows aren't going to drop all that much from where they are now. And then look at tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be getting close to 80 degrees. I would say maybe e even exceeding 80 degrees. Much of Long Island, except for the immediate south shore, you have to be within a mile or less of the water. Uh, and pretty fairly uniform because, again, no sea breeze. Everybody's going to see temperatures in the low 80s except right at the shore. And it doesn't drop off that much tomorrow night because, again, we have the winds, so we're not going to see radiational cooling. The winds aren't going to die down at all. And then uh, we get even hotter for Thursday. Uh, temperatures reaching the low, mid, up to the mid 80s, I think, for most of us, except right at the shore. Um, it's going to be quite a brutal day and showing a little bit of a sea breeze, mainly in Suffolk County uh, for uh, Thursday. So if you're right on the south shore, generally Suffolk County, the more east you are, uh, because, again, you're going to have that west flow. Jersey, we're going to be just baking uh, the heat from Jersey, pretty much blowing right over us, except right at the immediate shoreline. Um, and uh, so it's going to be pretty brutal uh, as far as concerned. And I'm not going to go look at the GFS now. Uh, we're just looking at the HRRR here, covering the local area here. Well, I mean, we're quite, you, know, um, you know, I don't want to go too much into the, um, you know, this is more of a local weather update, I guess you could say, you know, local weather update. And I'll just pull a weather update because uh, we're a uh, local weather update because mainly you're talking about the local area. So uh, let's look at the skies because there won't be too many clouds uh, to deal with either. Uh, you'll see tomorrow we just have some high clouds around for part of the day. And then by the afternoon, the high clouds kind of thin out. Um, the sun will still be out. And then Thursday, mostly sunny. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine the sky being too blue with the, all that heat, but you never know. 
could be. Uh, and then Friday, we'll see a little bit more cirrus, but still looks like plenty of sun. All right. And I guess I will have to pull up the GFS if I want to go beyond to Friday as far as dew points and wind flows go. Uh, you see, GFS is still showing a westerly flow on Friday with not much of a sea breeze. So that means we're going to be blazing again. Uh, temperatures in the 80s again. So, yeah, it's it's going to be hot. Uh, a lot of heat. Uh, and I'll look forward to it. I already feel sick just, you know, already feeling the air coming in the night and feeling sick. And I'm going to really feel sick the next couple of days because of this. This heat is like normal weather for like the middle of summer in April. Almost unheard of. Uh, let's just visualize this on Ventu Sky for a little bit. This is a higher resolution, so we'll go to Wednesday, and we will move this to 2 o'clock tomorrow, and you'll see temperatures around 80 degrees throughout much of Long Island. Sea breeze limited right to the immediate. you got to be right on the water to get any effect at all. Uh, it's going to be very limited at all. Jersey, forget it. You're not even going to get any effect at all. No sea breeze at all for you. No sea breeze for anyone, really, except right at the shore on the Bay Area Islands, and right within a mile of the water. Otherwise, you're going to be dealing with a lot of heat. You can see that west wind uh, it's getting us as high as the low 80s tomorrow. And then watch what happens when we get to Thursday. It's going to be even worse. So Thursday, uh, mid-80s, maybe even some upper 80s. I even see a 90-degree rating here. So this is going to be record heat, I think, for Thursday. And again, you'll have to be right at the water to get any kind of relief, right at the water within a mile or less or less than a mile of the water to get any kind of relief. And it's fairly uniform, again, because of that west wind. So we're going to be just as hot as it is in New Jersey, the city as well, uh, the whole entire area. It's going to be absolutely brutal. And then Friday, Friday it's showing a little more of a sea breeze. But with this heat, low humidity, I think we have a recipe for major wildfires. I will be shocked and uh, somewhat disturbed if we don't see any major wildfires because the conditions uh, haven't been this ripe for a big wildfire on Long Island for quite some time and this without the sea breeze hot dry uh, and breezy as well if we go look at wind gusts uh, you'll see wind gusts on thursday nearing 20 miles an hour tomorrow i think we're going to see even some higher wind gusts up to 25 so this is just the kind of situation we could see a uh, major wildfire uh, develop so it's going to be hot it's going to be dry it's going to feel like you're in the southwest that's where the same is coming from uh, for the next couple of days at least three days as we shatter some more record heat, shatter some more uh, record, uh, records for heat as we deal with the, you know, what we deal with as on this really crazy, you know, disturbingly wor warm planet that just keeps getting warmer and warmer and nobody realizes how serious it is and what kind of real trouble we're in here uh, because it's going to get, like I said, it's going to be hot. Um, as we get to Thursday, I think you're really going to feel it. And again, you know, look at this. I mean, we're going to shatter a lot of records. For sure, this is very, very, very disturbing, and it's not a good thing that we're seeing this kind of heat in April. It's very, very bad. If anyone thinks it's a good thing, I think they need to get their head examined. So that's going to wrap up this weather update. Have a good night, and thank you for watching.